Sorry for the noise and the shaky camera, but there seems to be some people that think that um, that review that I did of the Avengers, you know, oh, well, you just don't like action films. I like plenty of action films. I don't like what action films have become. Okay, for instance, the original Total Recall. Awesome movie. Um, that that was kind of a masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. They, 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 you know. The new Total Recall, worst pile of crap just about ever. Just garbage. Garbage movie. Utter crap. Because... It's like directors don't have much leeway anymore in the way things are filmed. If it has a high budget, well, you know, uh, all the cinematography, all of the style, all the style, style, all the stylistic ways that a movie could be filmed are uh, taken over by formulas, taken over by things that have been refined. I mean, they, like in the early 90s, for instance, let's just, let's just explain some of this, okay? In the early 90s and late 80s, when um, THX Sound became this big thing, um, you started to see in action movies uh, this thing where they have to fill all the frequencies as much as they can, from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, they want to have as many sounds filling as many frequencies as possible at any one given time. Okay, doesn't matter whether it's even appropriate for the scene, they want to tantalize our senses. Right? And so, that way of filming with sound was born. Well, let's go way back to, to uh, Blade Runner, okay? Blade Runner, one of my favorite, that's in my top three favorite movies of all time, okay? Blade Runner started, uh, Ridley Scott started um, some very cool things with, with that movie. He, he started a lot of these standards. Now, that was before these standards were taken over the top. Um, let's just say it, it has to do, let's say he focused a lot on how much, how to find out the depth of an area. You know, he, he like in Blade Runner, there's this point where they're in that, uh, that old building, and they have all these lights that are, that are moving back and forth, right? Well, he was one of the first to really study that if you do that kind of thing with the lighting, you get to see the depth of that room, okay? It's little things like that that have been refined over the years. Um, it's like right now, it seems, now maybe I'm wrong on this, but it seems that anymore on these action movies, at any one given point on the screen, there has to be things that have all the basic shapes in them. Triangles, circles, squares, possibly even you know, like octagons, but they, these shapes all have to be on the screen at the same time, because they... We, we, they, they want our senses to be tantalized all the time. Um, you know, like I, it's a similar thing to, you know, having to fill out all the frequencies. Well, they want to do this with our eyes, too. Um, another one is this tendency of, of newer films. There can't be anything that looks naturally dirty and with kind of soft edges. The new way of filming is to look as much like a video game as possible. Um, if there's anything that looks dirty, it is so dirty that it looks out of place. It's blatant. Oh, that's dirt. You know, same thing happens with, uh, you know, outfits. You know, it, it, uh, a lot of these new movies have the Xena problem, where, you know, look at my perfect shiny outfit, 
and look at everything around. Everything is perfect looking. It's all perfect. Not the way things are in real life, but you know. Um, and then there's, like I said, there's, there's the edges thing. Uh, they have to focus on... Well, I guess I didn't say that, but I talked about the everything has to be this perfectly clean surface and such. But there's also the edges thing. Um, there's study on how we, you know, we recognize things through the edges of stuff. Well, they take that into consideration when they film. Um, so, all of these things that used to be up to the director, when, when, you know, in older movies, is now up to these teams. All these teams, these teams handle all this stuff. You know, this is why it wouldn't really matter who the hell directed the new Star Wars movies. <coughs> it wouldn't make any difference. It could have been J.J. Abrams, it could have been, it could have been uh, Josh Whedon. It could have been Steven Spielberg, for all we fucking care. And the movies are still going to turn out about the same. Because almost everything is now relied on all these teams that have that are doing these things that have been studied. There's there's all this ref refining of things. Okay, that's what's happened to new, particularly action movies. There's there's no difference in the filming style between any of them now. It's all the same shit. It's all completely formula. Um. You know, so, so yeah, I, I have a problem with the way that a lot of new action films are made, these big budget stuff. Because it's, it's all this same shit. The directors don't really do what directors did before. Um, there is nothing stylis stylistic about the way these new movies are, are filmed. There's nothing stylistic about the way they feel. Th there's nothing different, and... and When, you know, action movies already don't have the best dialogue, unless you set up the scene to where the dialogue is the most important thing at that particular moment, then it might as well be watching a video game being played. You know, you gotta frame the dialogue decently. You can't just have it be something where, where it's like watching a video game. You can't have it, you know, done that way. Or you can, but I guess... You know, and I guess a lot of you have no problem with ingesting things that way. Let me give an example of why this whole over-bombardment with, with these visual things is a problem, okay? Take a speed metal song. I'm trying to think of a group, but Pantera wouldn't be a good example. Just take, think of a speed metal song where, from the beginning to the end of the song, the drums are, are this fast. <laughs> The entire song. It never it never stops. It's that way through the entire song. Okay? After about a minute of hearing that, are you gonna tell me that, oh, it's it's really it's really a hard edged song still? Or after about a minute of that, does your mind just sort of turn it into white noise? I know it doesn't in my mind. And you know, after about a minute, it might as well just be some instrument droning you know? Because it just, it becomes a generic sound at that point. Well, that's what's happening with movies. They're trying to bombard our senses with so much shit all the time, no matter what's happening. Even, I mean, a scene that's supposed to be calm in these movies? Well, there's something in the background that has to be moving. It has, there has to be something. Or we must be tantalized at all times. Well, you do that and you've ruined the movie. You've ruined anything that made it any part of the movie extreme. You've ruined anything that might have made it soft. You just, it turns the whole movie into just white noise. It makes me want to, it makes me, it, it puts me to sleep. That shit puts me to sleep. You know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's going to be some point where everyone starts to, well not, a large majority of people start to be like, you know, this this film looks just like this one, and this one, and this one. What, what are we getting out of this anymore? You know?